I am Dr. Yuran Kumaran, an anesthetist, intensivist, and the CEO of Hello Hospital. So now I'm giving a task to the chat GPT. This patient was referred by a doctor, and I'm going to write an email to this doctor to say the patient did well in the hospital. So my task to this patient is please write an email to your doctor who has referred this patient to me. Again, this is so perfect. Chat GPT will be really useful for doctors to handle down any letters, any emails. We don't need to think too much. We just to give the command. It will give a fantastic output. We just copy paste it. That's it. It's so good to me. Now, as a doctor, I decided to write a literature review. Please prepare a thousand words literature research document or a textbook chapter on the history of liver transplantation with the reference. We'll see whether it gives a note. The response is pretty good. I am a liver transplant specialist. I see it gives a beautiful history. It also gave a lot of reference. I think we need to still do a Jersey check, but the content is really good. Anyway, I asked my doubt about plagiarism to ChatGPT. Will your articles on alternative plagiarism test? It gives a good response. While I strive to produce original and unique content, I cannot guarantee that it will pass the plagiarism test. So we have to do the test. But looking at the content, it looks very, very good. Now, I wanted to test if chat GPT will be useful for NEET PG students. So, I copied and pasted a past NEET PG exam question. All of the following are true about the liver except. I gave four uh, responses. We'll see whether it gives the right answer or not. Chat GPT gives the right answer. D. The lobules in the liver are pentagonal is not true. The lobules in the liver are hexagonal in shape. Looking at the responses given by Chat GBT for my tasks, I strongly believe that Chat GBT will be quite useful for many people in the healthcare. Chat GBT is in an early stage of development and it has got a huge potential for growth in the future. We cannot believe and trust completely at this point of time, but we can still use it in various ways. I would strongly suggest the whole healthcare community, including doctors, should start using ChatGPT from today. 